Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about Healy Parfums, which is something that I've been wanting to try for a long time. I really wanted to try the house the first time I heard about them was sometime last year and then you guys have seen the fragrance haul where I showed you that I got this little collection which has five of their fragrances and then with that they also sent me four samples and I wanted to go all over them because I don't see a lot about this brand and I definitely feel like they're they're really cool and I wanted to you know give you my thoughts at least just in case you're also interested in a brand as I have been and as I am so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I think I'm going to go through the four samples first before showing you the five minis that I actually have picked up. So this is how the samples come. I just want to show you this quickly because I think it's so cool. So it's like this, you slide it out and then you have the samples in here. And then yeah, this is the whole thing. I think it is super, super cute. Now the samples that I have are La Mondière, which I believe is like almondy something. Uh, Note de Yuzu, which is a collab with Maison Kitsune. There's Saint Clemens and there's Jasmine Overdose, which used to be called Bubblegum Chic. And actually Bubblegum Chic was one of the um, parfums that really interested me from the brand. So I'm going to go through and just let you know my thoughts. And I'm actually going to be starting with Bubblegum Chic or Jasmine Overdose because, wow. I wish I had gotten a little um, bottle of this because it is just amazing. It is a true sweet white floral. It is tuberose, it is jasmine. It actually has a lot of tuberose, which is why I think like bubblegum chic was probably the better name. And yeah, but jasmine overdose, it does have the jasmine, it does have the tuberose. It is sweet and it smells sort of like, you know, whenever you have like bubblegum and there is a little bit of like this sugar powder on top of the bubble gum that is what it smells like to me also i get the ever 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 so slightest little um bit of banana peel and like it's not doesn't smell like banana but it gives me that sort of like sweet banana peel sort of like the texture of banana peel and yeah jasmine overdose to me is definitely one that i regret not having a full size of because it is so so beautiful i really really loved it and yeah that is all i can say it is super super long lasting given that it is a parfum concentration i believe that yeah so the all the other ones that i have are eau de parfum and then these are actual um like extras or parfums so it's super long lasting i am so so sad i don't have a full size of this one but yeah jasmine overdose from the house is fantastic i really really enjoyed that and i'm so happy i got the sample of it now the next one i'm just going to spray a tiny bit just on one of my fingers this one is saint clemens and i believe the full name of this is like orange and bells and orange and the bells of saint clemens something like this i will put the name here where once i like have looked it up and this one is a orange blossom neroli type of fragrance Sorry, so as I was picking out these, I basically looked at all of the scents sort of scent description because I had to blind by them. And Scent Clemens to me, it looked like it would be a little bit too soapy. Um, for me, like sometimes orange blossom soapiness is not really what I'm looking for. But it is really, really nice. It sort of smells like, not necessarily even like an orange, it smells like the, the twig from an orange tree something like that and it is it is quite soapy it is quite clean it does have that you know like luxurious bath product scent but to me if i had to choose like which one of these samples that i've got to get a full size of it would definitely be jasmine overdose but if you love neroli and you love orange blossom i think this one would definitely be worth giving a try the next sample I have here, and this one, once again, I wish I had a little bottle of this one because it is so good. This is the Not De Yuzu. And to me, this is an amazing, like a really, really amazing citrus fragrance. This one is like the all the best citrus notes in the world. It reminds me of, you know, sparkling water with grapefruit juice, with lemon, um, like freshly peeled mandarin it has a little bit of that mandarin type of scent to it as well it has of course like it's yuzu at the end of the day but 
to me it smells like all the best citrus scents combined like someone made a lemonade out of you know yuzu grapefruit mandarins and normal um lemon it is so so beautiful it is such a fresh and amazing summer scent so yeah i would have definitely gotten a um, 50 ml of this the thing is with the uh, little box that i got this one here it is five times 15 milliliters and i believe that the issue with the not to use was that they don't make the 50 milliliters because their standard sizes are 50 and 100 so for me i would definitely definitely get this one because it is not that like straight up lemon it is also not a bergamot because bergamot i think is very very common and sometimes to me it's like okay there's another bergamot fragrance but this one has this grapefruit the yuzu and it smells like this beautiful lemonade but it doesn't just smell oh it's a fresh lemon you know what i mean now the final one of these samples is la mondiere and this one i almost almost got the full size um, or not full size, but the 15 ml as one of the, you know, actual little bottles because La Mondiere was described as being like green almond, lily of the valley so have, and sort of like, you know, like a beautiful landscape after the rain and I was really, really intrigued by that but I have to say, um, I think it's just a tad bit too green for me like, don't get me wrong, it smells super, super good it definitely has that like green almond, like a like the you know the waxiness of an almond but together with a green scent it gives me that lily of the valley like the just bloomed white little flower it's not like a white floral but it is you know just like a like a spring flower after the rain that just bloomed together with that green almond and i think it is a beautiful beautiful scent as well but Knowing myself, I wouldn't wear this to the extent that it would warrant me having a full size. So super happy that it was in the little sampler here. But yeah, as I said, like if you're into like green fragrances and you want something that's a little bit floral but green, I think for a floral green fragrance, um, La Mondiere is really, really, really good. Um, for me personally, I know that I wouldn't wear a full, like I wouldn't actually use up a full bottle. So glad to have tried it but also good that it was in this format now quickly going over these five i think i introduced them in my haul video but i just want to you know let you know the names before so if you're particularly interested in one you will know whether or not it's here but i have chosen hippie rose saint marin zeste d'une jambre coco bello and mint fresh now i think i'm going to be starting with hippie rose which is a fragrance that i've out of all of these, I've probably worn this one the most ever since I got these fragrances. And Hippie Rose, to me, is interestingly enough, a quite like... Okay, first of all, I want you to look at the spray just so you can see how well this goes on. Did you see that? That was amazing. So yeah, these sprayers of these are wow. Um, but Hippie Rose, to me, is not like a... Because I felt like from the name you might expect something like a bit of a green rose, a little bit of a, you know, definitely not as sophisticated as this one smells. Because this one is a rose and patchouli scent. And it is not an earthy or dirty patchouli, but it is a very, like, almost chocolatey patchouli. It is very, very beautiful. You guys know that I have my issues with patchouli, especially when it gets into this very, like, dirty, earthy quality around patchouli. But... This one, wow, it is chocolatey, it is almost like cacao powder, it is really, really beautiful, and then it is together with this rather airy rose, you know, this is not like a sweet, jammy rose, but it's a rather like airy presence of a rose just on this. You guys can see the um, light changing, I'm very sorry, it's the sun outside, I can't really do anything about it. But yeah, Hippie Rose to me is really beautiful. I was so surprised by this. I expected, or let's say I feared, it would be a little bit more of that dirty patchouli, but it is not at all. It is very, very elegant. Now, this fragrance does not project a ton. It has a little bit of a presence around you, but it's not like you're going to smell me from across the room. But, and this is something that I've noticed because, as I said, I've worn this this hippie rose fragrance in particular a lot more than all the other ones and in the beginning it wasn't so much but like when i wore it last week for some reason like it 
disappeared on my skin very very quickly which is not what I experienced before especially because patchouli tends to be more long lasting but I wanted to let you know that last week when I wore this um, it kind of like disappeared rather quickly but it is a beautiful scent and it is really really elegant and I would definitely say that if you like your patchoulis and you actually even if you don't like patchouli because I'm not the person that's like oh yay patchouli everywhere because as I said dirty earthy I'm not doing that but this combination with the rose is really really good and it also like when you compare this to like other rose and patchouli scents that are you know very nighttime very deep dark and heavy because this one is so like the patchouli is so chocolatey the rose is so airy it is an elegant fragrance but I think it's super appropriate for the daytime like you can wear this to the office without smelling you know like you just came back from like an event or something Okay, I feel like I've rambled on about Hippie Rose for a while. Now let's get on to a fragrance that is ultra fresh, super unisex, probably... I don't want to say this is the most unisex, but it definitely is incredibly unisex, and this is Saint Marin. Now, I think the initial fragrance that I heard about Healy from was Mint Fresh, which is like a mint-based fragrance, as the name would suggest, um, which I think they've been... they're quite renowned for, like, doing mint so well. Now, when it comes to Saint Marin, and I've tried quite a few salt-based fragrances, or fragrances that contain salt. Saint Marin is probably the one that the most smells like pure salt water. It is mineral, it has the tiniest bit of like a green touch, but it just smells overall salty, mineral, it is refreshing. Like when you wear this and you smell it, it feels refreshing on your skin. And it is really, really, really well done. It has a little bit of that like iron, like salt iron type of scent to it. Um, but yeah, I was really surprised by this one because I was fearing that this would lean a little bit into the more male category, but it is so perfectly unisex. Like no matter who wears this, I think would just absolutely smell amazing. I can see this one being a gym scent as well because if you are, you know, wearing this and working out, I would believe that this, or I believe that this would come out really beautifully and just give you like almost like an energizing feeling. So yes, this could be a gym scent. It is really just beautiful. It is refreshing. As I said, this is a fresh fragrance. It's not necessarily a summer fragrance. I'm not sure. Like, actually, no, you could even wear this in the winter in the snow and it would still smell good. Um, but yeah, Saint Marin, I think great if you're looking for a unisex fragrance this one would be it in my opinion there's other ones that are unisex but this one definitely definitely and yeah there was something else i wanted to say about this one i think it was was it longevity anyway this lasts pretty long um for like a fresher fragrance i do find that salt based fragrances lost that lost i do find that salt based fragrances on my skin last pretty well anyway i feel like this like salt is just one of those notes that lasts on my skin but yeah to me this is very good it is not massively projecting because it is a rather fresh fragrance. Um, I don't find fresh fragrances generally super projecting, but as I said with the salt, it is long lasting. So if you wanted to wear this, like, you know, coming back from a gym, taking a shower, wear this, and then you will smell fresh the whole day. So Saint Marin, one of the fragrances I've really enjoyed from Healy. Moving on, and this one, wow, I was not sure that I should buy this. I was like, okay, you like this note, but it can be done this way and can be done that way. It is Zeste Gingembre, and it is a ginger-based fragrance, as the name once again would suggest. And this one is, wow, I was not expecting this. I feel like generally with all the Healy fragrances, any and all that I've tried, they are really niche in the way that it's, you know, whatever they do, whatever they're basing the fragrance around, like for example, the salt one, not like any other salt that I've ever smelled, the ginger one, not like any other ginger I've ever smelled, and even like the, you know, rose patchouli, which is something that's done a lot, it has a completely different effect. So I think in terms of like being niche and being unexpected and being unique, this one does it really, really well. Like, not just this fragrance, but the whole house, like James Healy and Healy Parfums. Okay, Zeste Gingembre, Gingembre, I think is how you pronounce it. Clemence, you can uh, let me know what the correct way is. Zeste Gingembre, it is a fresh ginger. It is 
like initially you just get sort of like fresh ginger almost like it's you know added to a drink like cold drink or something and then what comes in is sort of like like incensey myrrh vibes but they're not strong it's sort of just like a background presence in this scent and it makes it a, a concoction that to me smells like it is cocooning and it is reassuring on the one hand but the ginger also makes it uplifting and motivating so to me this reminds me of okay i'm just going to go on a little tangent here and tell you the story of what this reminds me of but when i was a little kid um, my mom and i and my sister we would go to i'm not sure what the correct english word is actually i should figure this out okay the translator says it's a complementary and alternative medicine practitioner um anyway it was this woman and she was doing you know all these kinds of like non-western medicine sort of things and sorry smelled the wrong hand this one is the gender one and this sort of reminds me of how her practice smell it smells to me very cleansing very calming as i said but also very motivating like you can you know let go of everything that is sort of like holding you down unmot like taking away your motivation and you know it this gives you the like it's gonna be okay but at the same time you got everything in you to start something new so yeah that one for the little tangent about this one but it has reminded me so much of that that i definitely wanted to mention it and it is wow it is just beautiful it is unexpected i have nothing that i would say smells even close to this i have some other ginger fragrances but they're completely different um, they're more into like the candy ginger and a like, sweeter, but nothing that compares to Zesto Gingembre and Yeah, as I said, this is really if you're into that if you are looking for something that smells Let's put it away. It is it smells a little bit like alternative medicine like like a, a practice where you know alternative medicine is being done and um, Yeah if you're looking for something like this, then go with Zesto Gingembre. Seriously, I've never smelled anything that reminded me so much of that where I went as a child as this one. Now, moving on, this one is Coco Bello, and this one, I have to say, it is my least worn out of the, I guess, nine if you count the samples or out of the five that I have. Coco Bello so far has been my least worn. Why? This one was described as, you know, smelling like coconut, salt water, beach, sort of like, you know, you're tanning on a beach in Brazil, something like this. I think that was more or less what the description was. And to me, it's a bit darker than that. Like, this is not a coconut fragrance that is just, you know, ah, you know, it's like beautiful. To me, this one smells a lot like the you know the outside the dark brown um coconut i've not i'm not sure if you've ever eaten out of those like coconut shell bowls but that like dark brown outside that is what i get from this so it's not you know like an ultra sweet coconut it is a very realistic coconut in the sense that it really smells like you have the the whole coconut in front of you not just you know the white flesh but it is a little bit as i said it is a little bit darker it is not just you know sweet and salty air no it is this oily dark coconut scent initially when i wore this this one definitely felt even darker to me because when i got these fragrances it was not as like summery and sunny you guys just saw the light change again um it was not as like summery and, and sunny as it is right now and yeah so it is really like a rich oily coconut like a dark and oily coconut and i want you to know that in case you were thinking about this this is not going to be you know like your oh it's like a sweet little beach tropical coconut no no this is more of a like if you filmed one of the nicest beaches that you could imagine where a lot of like coconut palms are standing if you filmed that on like black and white or sepia colored film that's the whole vibe that this fragrance gives Guys, I feel like this video has been so long, but we are down to the last fragrance. And this one is the one that made Healy incredibly famous. It is called Ment Fresh. And this one is supposedly, or what I've read before I had it, was 
that this one is the best or one of the best mint fragrances that has ever been done because I guess fresh mint is actually quite hard to you know replicate in a scent but Healy Parfums has done a good job with this one so it truly smells like you are standing there and like chopping up mint and I'm not sure if that is just me but I get the tiniest bit of lemongrass as well I feel like this is you know you're chopping up mint you're readying everything to make like mint and lemon water but for some reason you also either accidentally or wantingly have taken like two strands of lemongrass that you're also chopping up so as I said I get the tiniest little bit of lemongrass but otherwise this is a really really fresh mint scent once again this one is not incredibly projecting it is definitely a fresh scent it is not incredibly projecting but it will give you like a very nice like scent if people come close to you again i could see this one being a gym fragrance because of how refreshing it is and yeah as with all of them it is just incredibly unique it is when you think of niche fragrances or like specifically when i think of niche I think of something like this, you know, I think of something like all the Heelys have done. a An ingredient or a scent profile that is, you know, based on a note that may not be new or exciting or something, but done in a manner that is just incredibly unique, that has never been smelled before. And um, if you have tried any Healy fragrances where you say, okay, well, this smells exactly like something else, definitely let me know because I would love to know if, you know, anyone thinks that this is close to something else but yeah i have to say man fresh once again did not know what to expect but it was really well done and it is crafted in such an unexpected way that it makes me so happy to own it because i'm like yes this is what i want from niche fragrances so yeah guys that has been my healy video i know i've been talking for a long long time but i really wanted to get the word out about this house i wanted to you know share my experience with it but obviously i'm also interested in what you guys are thinking about it have you tried healy let me know down in the comments below what have you tried what is your favorite fragrance and if you have not tried anything what would you like to try I am so happy you watched this video. Thank you so much for being on my channel. I cannot wait to see my next video. And until then, I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.